Greetings, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome to my study. Just before I begin this video, I want to give you a quick tour. All right, the tour begins out here because my office is through the furnace room, furnace, some tools on the wall, in the door I have my calendar for the year. And you'll see it's not very large, but I have enough room for a desk and some computer stuff and some books. Over here I have my fake window to give me light. Over here I have Charles Spurgeon bobblehead. Coffee cup, chocolate covered coffee beans. It's important. And on this side I have guitars that are more for show than for play. Church membership directory. Some passages of scripture to get me going on Bible reading in the morning and our church covenant to remind me what my responsibilities are for the members of our church. That is about it. It's a pretty small space, 35 square feet, but I like it. All right, so that's the tour, 35 square feet of excitement. Now, the point of this video, as you probably know, Grace Life Church and indeed Almost every church that I've, I'm aware of have decided to cancel regular gatherings for a season in order to help uh, stem the tide of the coronavirus to help do what we can and follow the government's regulations in this way. And so we won't be gathering for a while. And so life as the family of God will look different, of course, than it usually does. But this doesn't mean that we can't encourage one another. And we'll talk a lot more about that tomorrow. But it doesn't mean also that Pastor Ernie and myself won't continue to serve you the best that we are able to during this time. And if you have prayer requests or any needs, please feel free to call, email, text, however you like to get a hold of us. Now, also for Sunday, I plan to record uh, a kind of normal Sunday morning sermon and make it available online for you to use in your family as you worship together on Sunday morning. More details will come during the week as they are available. But one thing we want to do during this season is to produce a bunch of three to five minute videos that hopefully encourage you in the Lord during this extraordinary season with its unique challenges. These will be little reminders of the truths of God's Word that are meant to encourage our hearts Help us stay on mission as a church, even though we can't meet together as we'd like to do. The first such videos will be like this, but will be available tomorrow morning. And we hope to have one every day, or at least almost every day, as much as we are able. A few ways to access these. If you're on the Grace Life Church mailing list, you'll, you'll get that in your email with along with the prayer requests each day. That's for the church members. Second, will be available. Uh, the videos will be available on the website, gracelifebolager.ca, and you can just see, find them on there. Also, we'll put them to Facebook if we can, uh, and you can just find us there, Grace Life Church Bolger. And while these regular videos are going to start tomorrow, I wanted to leave you with at least some encouragement for today, and I want to remind you of the precious truths that we looked at on Sunday as we gathered together. Those were found in Romans chapter 8 verses 35 to 39. Let's read that. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or danger, or sword? As it is written, for your sake we are being killed all the day long. We are regarded as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am sure that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. During these times, we need to remember who's sitting on the throne. The same God who loved us and sent his Son into this world to die for our sins. This is the same God who sits on the throne today and is sovereign over the coronavirus and over every single way that it might affect our lives, our incomes, 
everything that we do. And he purposes every trial in our lives for our good and for his eternal glory, if we belong to Christ. We know that all things work together for good. We don't know how he's going to do it, what good he's going to do, but we know him. And if he did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also with him give us all things? I hope that encourages you today. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again tomorrow.